welcome back everyone today we are going to create a pillow inside of maya by using simple end cloth and we are not going to be using any constraint this time and in the last video we saw how we can use pressure inside of end cloth to kind of inflate our cloth so we are going to be using the same technique so i'm going to go to my cube here i'm going to take a simple cube here and i'm going to scale this up and scale this down the height overall and i think the overall height for this much is good enough so we have a pretty low poly design here so i'm going to go to my channel box and let's increase the subdivision to 20 20 and we don't have any subdivision to height so i'm going to make the height subdivision to 2 only and you'll see why so we can also go for something like a 30 i think that should be good enough and from here we are going to create a kind of a rim around it how we can uh treat our cloth for example what do i mean by this the giving the reference of a cloth for example if i have this face and if i make this something like a bevel so the cloth will be able to kind of easily understand how the cloth is going to be how this is going to pressurize the overall dynamics here so for example if this face is restricting the overall pressure here so it can inflate only to this level but by adding some bevel into this we can create a kind of a you can say moving pressure so that's why what we are going to do on this cloth here is simply select all the edges around the corners so this one and let's do the same with this you can also do one thing is simply go to the vertices select all the vertices here and deselect the middle vertices by simply hitting control and dragging and from the top you can deselect all of these as well all right so as you can see we have all of these selected and i'm going to simply hit r on my keyboard and scale this down right so you have something like this i think it's a bit too high and uh, i'm going to go to my front view just to check it's not uh, kind of moving too much on the wrong direction we have to maintain the overall shape here so i think this looks pretty good so we have a simple cube we just added or you can see moved a little bit of mesh here and if we hit three on the keyboard you can see we have a pretty smooth plane all right so let's move on with this so i'm going to click on this i'm going to move this up let's move this around here and from here i'm going to create my end cloth and if i play this now the cloth falls so in the nucleus instead of creating a passive collider let's go to our nucleus here and in the nucleus i'm going to say use plane so that will just automatically create a passive collider a ground plane for us and there we have it so let's make a pillow out of it so the first thing you have to do is change the overall preset you don't have to actually use preset but i usually take silk whenever i'm using a simple cloth or you can say i'm creating a pillow but let's not use that you'll see the difference so i'm going to go over to my pressure here and i'm going to make the pressure to something like 0.2 just to check how the pressure is reacting and now you can see something like this happening so i'm going to make the pressure to 0.3 here all right so we can see some collision going on with the overall intersection and if i choose something like a silk and all the silk does is basically you can manually increase your overall stretch resistance over here and that will just kind of prevent you from the overall inside collisionness and now you can see the overall silk has a much denser cloth so what i can do here is go to the pressure here to this guy and i can increase the pressure to point two again all right so there you go so now we have something like this if i hit three on my keyboard we have a perfect pillow so now you can do pretty uh, amazing and custom things with this you can take another cube for example and you can scale this up to something like this and from here i'm going to go to my front view to scale this down and from here what i can do is add a bit of a or you can also do one thing is basically selecting these faces and you can bevel this out if you want or you can simply add some more subdivision and do the same thing over and over again so i'm going to make this 30 and 2 and from here i'm going to simply select the vertices here and deselect the small vertices in the middle and from the top get rid of all the vertices that are in the middle all right so we have something like this and simply drag them inside a bit and from the side view make sure it's not uh, kind of going in the negative direction so we have a simple cloth here so let's create an end cloth from here and you can choose or experiment with the other preset as well for example a t-shirt and that will just the preset are not doing anything they are just some values kind of you can say a specific value for specific thing like t-shirt has a 35 amount of stretch resistance so you can manually play around with this but if you want to save your time you can pretty much choose any preset that you want 
So I'm going to go for the silk here and I'm going to apply some pressure. So I'm going to add a 0.2 pressure here. All right. So instantly you see something like this and from here you can if you want you can pretty much rotate this just to give a kind of a dynamic look to your overall scene here. Let's play this here. Alright so we have two plots and I think I'm going to move this here and move this something like this. This one to something like this. Let's play this now. Alright so this is what we have so press 3 on your keyboard just to make it smooth and from here you can see the overall collision here and you can see how the other cloth is pinching on top of this and this just gives a really nice look to the overall pillow look and you can see the overall wrinkles here and some wrinkles over here so you can play around with different kinds of thing to pretty much get the effect that you're looking for but this will just get you started with creating any type of pillow, pillow that you want for example if you have a cushion and you want some pillows on top of it so you can use anything like that so you can take a t-shirt and you can see how the overall different type of presets are reacting to the overall pressure here so as you can see the overall t-shirt is not exactly what uh, that goes with the overall look here but you can pretty much choose the overall airbag here or chain mall and keep increasing the pressure here Alright, so from here you can see if I go to my dynamic properties, you have stretch resistance here. But you'll also notice that the cloth has a mass of 10 percentage or you can say 10 points. So the value is too high for this. If I make a mass of like something like a 1. Let's see here. Alright, so we see some changes if I make the mass to something like a 0.100. Now that should fix the overall pop problem that we have with the overall cloth because the cloth is too heavy right now and right now what you see is the cloth is kind of a slowing down the overall we have a slowing down animation here and the reason is because we don't have enough mass on our object so we have actually made, made it pretty light so that's not exactly what we were going for but you get the idea how you can control the overall cloth here so play around with this thing what you can come up with and you have nice wrinkles going on so this is how it, it was a pretty straightforward uh, overall setup so nothing much, nothing complex, no constraint whatsoever, only the use of pressure and that's it. And you can play around with different kinds of things like stretch resistance and adding a bit of a mass to your overall cloth. If your cloth is not exactly reacting how it's supposed to be, then you can play around with this. So have fun creating some cloths and some pillows. And if you create something out of it, let me know. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.